CrazyMikeSF.com with an iPad app video demo for PDF Note Taker. This productivity app helps you create typed or handwritten digital ink notes and includes a variety of beneficial editing tools, rich text formatting, cloud syncing services, PDF file exporting, and much more. Getting started with this feature-rich note-taking app, I'm currently showing you a tutorial provided by the developer, a nice PDF. We're not going to save it. We're going to head back to the main file area where my folders and PDFs are, tap on the options in the top left, and it pulls up some settings. I can copy example PDFs, empty the cache, change the import photo options, and go into different settings, come back out, and I can change or activate Wi-Fi server authentication, log out of Dropbox, and there's plenty of information there to contact the developer, rate the app. Now I copied one of the PDF tutorials, but we're gonna go into the untitled note at the bottom, and I'm gonna show you how to create a note. First, I gotta get rid of my scribblings, getting started in the vacant line down there. Erase everything by using the eraser in the top right. It looks like an eraser, and once you're done, you can either enter text in by typing, or in this case, using the digital ink, which I currently have as black. All of that can be changed as far as color and thickness, that is the digital ink. You can change the font of typing. So I'm actually writing this in with a stylus. You can use your finger as well, but I'm gonna go through and show you all of the top different functionality and icons and how to use them. After I put in some scribblings, I'm gonna tap on the uh, paper at the top left, and here you can add additional pages. You can do that also by using the arrow to the top right. But I'm gonna add a page, and then I can edit the page that I'm on. I can switch back and forth in that little queue there. Now I can also tap on the page next to it and it provides a variety of lined paper or unlined paper, dotted, music, English, English large. The magnifying glass gives you a nice option. It shows what you're working on the top, but it gives you a much closer view at the bottom as well as all your editing tools. Much, much easier to do some intricate things there. Tap on the airplane, lots of ways to export as a PDF, mail, copy the clipboard, open in other apps, AirPrint. Undo and redo buttons are very handy. And then we tap on the hand, and the hand actually gives us insert options. When you tap on the box there, we can insert a line, arrow, circle, square, image, or text. Going into my camera roll, and I'm gonna insert a picture of one of my dogs, Dobby. I'm also inserting some text, and you can drag all of this and resize it to how you like it. Now I'm gonna add an arrow, and the arrow comes out like that, but you can change it again, the style, as well as the color, the thickness, very easy to do. The controls and the user interface is very easy to use. Put it under there, and once I'm done, it becomes purple because that's the color I chose. Put a line underneath history notes, and I'm going to delete the other line that I had that I drew by hand so it looks a little more professional. I'm just adding a square here and dragging it. It turns green. You can add circles as well, and you can move these around. Now, adding the text by tapping on the letter A up there by tapping on the T will give you font selections and you can have a variety of styles and different style settings. This is the actual highlighter and again, multiple settings for the highlighter. You can see them there as well as the stroke style. Now, we're going to go back into the file area to rename this file. Tap on edit in the top right. We can tap on name or rename and I'm going to name it PDF Note Taker App. Now we can view photos in here as well as videos. The photos can appear in a slideshow fashion. Heading back in here, tap on the bottom left. You can see the clipboard will provide pasted text and I'll show you an example of that in a moment. There are cloud services such as Dropbox, which is what this looks like when you go into it. Loads of functionality. You can export files back and forth. Here are some of the other cloud services that you can sync to with this application. And then here's what a PDF looks like and the things you can do when you're in it. Now here's an example of the copy and paste. This was an email, I copied that, go into the app in my clipboard and there it is. It's already in there as a note. I can rename it and do some other things to it. Now heading back down here again, Wi-Fi sharing and you can rate the app there and here's the other apps by this developer. Very feature rich note taking app. It turns your notes into PDFs. Until next time, Crazy Mike saying see ya.